What is up, everybody? JT Dangerous Slayer once again. I am back to do my New Japan Pro Wrestling's New Japan Cup 2021 predictions. Now, the New Japan Cup tournament starts this Friday morning live on NewJapanWorld.com and all culminates on Sunday, March 21st, where the winner of this year's New Japan Cup tournament will challenge the undisputed IWGP champion at Sakura Genesis in Ryogoku Sumo Hall. Now, this year's New Japan Cup field, folks, is stacked. 30 of the top competitors of New Japan Pro Wrestling fighting for one opportunity. A chance to challenge the undisputed IWGP champion at Sakura Genesis. So I am extremely excited to do my New Japan Cup predictions for you guys this year. This is going to be a long video because I'll be making picks from the first round all the way up to the finals. So sit back, relax, grab something to drink and eat and get your brackets ready. And I hope you guys do enjoy. Now if you guys haven't checked out the two other videos that I put up on the channel this past week, definitely go check them out if you haven't. This is the third and final video video of the week. So I hope you guys are able to watch this video and all the great videos I'll be putting up on the channel in the month of March this year. And as always, show your support on the channel as always, guys, by watching these videos, super kicking those like buttons, hitting that notification bell, and commenting your picks and your opinions in the comment sections down below. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel today, guys, as a first-time viewer, and this is your first video, boy, big to go, and if you're a huge fan of New Japan Pro Wrestling like myself, and you're ready for this year's New Japan Cup Tournament. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club. Because this club is... Just two. Woo, woo again. Thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into my New Japan Cup predictions. Let's start off on the left side of this bracket with the first first round matchup. On one side, he is representing Chaos and he is the winner of the KOPW 2020 championship and he is the reigning KOPW 2021 provisional champion making his 15th New Japan Cup appearance and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the Sublime Master Thief, Yano Toru. And his opponent is representing the Cutthroat Darkness era of... And he is a former IWGP Intercontinental Champion, making his eighth New Japan Cup appearance. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the Rogue General, Bad Luck Fale. Now this is the sixth one-on-one -on -one meeting between Yano Toru and Bad Luck Fale. Yano leads the all-time series 4-1. to one. Now Fale's last victory over Yano happened all the way back in the 2017 New Japan Cup Tournament. And Yano's last victory over Bad Luck Fale happened at New Japan Pro Wrestling's Road to the Tokyo Dome on December of this of last year in a KOPW 2021 match. Now the winner of this matchup will, will face off against the winner of the Tetsuya Naito Dominator Great Okan matchup in the second round. So whoever wins has to face either the Dominator or the former double champion. So coming from me in this first round matchup in the 2021 New Japan Cup Tournament, I am going to go with Chaos's Yano Toru to get it done and defeat the Rogue General Bad Luck Fale by any means. And now the next first round matchup on one side. He is also representing Chaos and he is one third of the reigning never openweight six man tag team champions and he is the only man in New Japan Pro Wrestling history to win the New Japan Cup tournament three times. He is the former four time never openweight champion making his 13th New Japan Cup appearance, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about.
He is the fierce warrior Hiroki Goto, and his opponent is representing Suzuki Gun Ichiban, and he is the former IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, a former two-time Never Open Weight Champion, making only his third New Japan Cup appearance, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Lord Taichi. Now this is the fifth one-on-one -on -one meeting between Hiroki Goto and Taichi. The series is tied two to two. Now Goto's last victory over Lord Taichi happened all the way back at Power Struggle in 2018. And Taichi's last victory over Hiroki Goto happened at the 29th G1 Climax Tournament. So coming from me in this first round matchup... I am going to go with his lordship, Lord Taichi, to get it done and defeat the fierce warrior, Hiroki Goto, by any means. And now the next first round matchup. And this first round matchup could be the best first round matchup on this whole New Japan Cup tournament in the first round. On one side, he is representing Los and Gobernables de Apon, and he is a former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, a former two-time Never open weight champion, making his New Japan Cup debut, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the Dragon Shingo Takagi, and his opponent is the Leader of Chaos, and he is a former five-time IWGP Heavyweight Champion. He is a two-time New Japan Cup winner. He won this tournament back in 2013 and 2019. He is making his fourth New Japan Cup appearance, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. Now, this is only the second one-on-one -on -one meeting between Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada and the Dragon Shingo Takagi. Kazuchika Okada won the last meeting over Shingo at the 30th G1 Climax Tournament on October 10th of last year. So this is the much-anticipated rematch. So coming from me in this massive first-round showdown in the 2021 New Japan Cup Tournament... This one is going to be an absolute banger. Their matchup at the G1 was fantastic, and I have a good feeling that this rematch is going to be even better. But coming from me, I am going to go with Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada to get it done and defeat the Dragon Shingo Takagi by any means in an absolute banger. And now the next first round matchup on one side. He is representing GBH and he is making his ninth New Japan Cup appearance. He is the master of the Kokeshi. He is Tomoaki Homba. And his opponent is the leader of Suzuki Gun, Ichiban. And he is the former IWGP Intercontinental Champion, a former two time Never Open Weight Champion, making his seventh New Japan Cup appearance. He is the Torture Master, Minoru Suzuki. So coming from me in this first round matchup, I am going to go with the Torture Master, Minoru Suzuki, to get it done and defeat Tomoaki Homba by any means. And now the final first round matchup on the left side of this New Japan Cup bracket. On one side, he is a former IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, a former two-time IWGP United States Champion, making his fourth New Japan Cup appearance. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about.
He is the flamboyant one, Juice Robinson. And his opponent is also representing the cutthroat darkness era of... And he was the winner of the 2020 New Japan Cup of USA Tournament, the former Never Openweight Champion, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Kenta. Now, this is only the second one-on-one -on -one meeting between Juice Robinson and Kenta. Juice Robinson won the last meeting over Kenta back at the 30th G1 Climax Tournament on September 24th of last year. So this is the much-anticipated rematch. So coming from me in this final first-round matchup on the left side of this New Japan Cup bracket to see who will advance to the second round of the tournament... I am going to go with the flamboyant Juice Robinson to get it done and defeat Kenta by any means. Now on to the right side of this New Japan Cup bracket with the first first round matchup. On one side, he is a former IWGP Heavyweight Champion, a former multiple time IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, making his 11th New Japan Cup appearance. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Hiroyoshi Tenzan, and his opponent is the leader of the United Empire, and he is the reigning Ref Pro British Heavyweight Champion, a former four-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, and he is my pick to win this New Japan Cup tournament overall, making only his second New Japan Cup appearance, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the Commonwealth Kingpin, Will Ospreay. So coming from me in this first round matchup in the 2021 New Japan Cup Tournament, I'm going with my pick to win it all this year, the Commonwealth Kingpin, Will Ospreay, to get it done and defeat Hiroyoshi Tenzan by any means. And now the next first round matchup on one side. He is representing the LA Dojo, and he is making only his second New Japan Cup appearance. He is Gabriel Kidd, and his opponent is representing Suzuki Gun Ichiban, and he is the former multiple-time Ref Pro British Heavyweight Champion, the former IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, and he is the 2018 New Japan Cup winner, making his fourth New Japan Cup appearance, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Zack Sabre Jr. So coming from me in this first round matchup, I am going to go with Suzuki Gun's greatest technical wrestler in the world today, Zack Sabre Jr. to get it done and defeat Gabriel Kidd by any means. 
And now the next first round matchup on one side. He is representing the Young Lions and he is making only his second New Japan Cup appearance. He is Yota Tsuji. And his opponent is a former IWGP Heavyweight Champion, a former Never Openweight Champion, making his 14th New Japan Cup appearance. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. <laughs> He is Blue Justice, Yuji Nagata. So coming from me in this first round matchup, I am going to go with Blue Justice, Yuji Nagata get it done, and defeat Yotosuji by any means. And now the next matchup, on one side. He is representing Chaos, and he is the other half of the reigning Never Openweight Six-Man Tag Team Champions and a multiple-time Never Openweight Champion, making his 13th New Japan Cup appearance, and he is one tough some bitch. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the Stone Pit Bull Tomohiro Ishii or Golem. And his opponent is representing Los in Gobernables de Apon. And he is a man that was in the finals of the 2019 New Japan Cup tournament, making his fifth New Japan Cup appearance. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Cold Skull Sonata. Now, this is the fourth one on one meeting between Tomohiro Ishii and Cold Skull Sonata. Ishii leads the old time series two to one. Now, Sonata's last victory over Ishii came all the way back at the 26th G1 Climax Tournament, all the way back in 2016. And Ishii's last victory over Sonata happened at the 28th G1 Climax Tournament back in 2018. So, coming from me in this first round showdown, this one's going to be good. Shingo and Okada on the left side is, is a fantastic first round matchup. Ishii and Sonata on this side of the bracket is also a matchup that could be a banger. But coming from me, I am going to go with Cold Skull Sonata to get it done and defeat the Stone Pitbull Tomohiro Ishii by any means in a banger. And now the next first round matchup on one side. He is a former IWGP heavyweight tag team champion. He was the man that got to he got he's the man that got to the finals of the New Japan Cup of USA tournament finals and he is making his New Japan Cup debut here and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the fourth generation David Finlay, and his opponent is representing the cutthroat darkness era of... And he is the reigning... And uh, he is the reigning Texas heavyweight champion, and he is making only his second New Japan Cup appearance, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about.
is Bullet Club's one and only true crown jewel. He is Chase Owens. So coming from me in this first round matchup, I am going to go with the fourth generation David Finley to get it done and defeat the crown jewel Chase Owens by any means. And now the next first round matchup on one side. He is representing Chaos and he is the other half of the reigning never open weight six man tag team champions making his eighth. New Japan Cup appearance, he is Headhunter Yoshihashi, and, there, and his opponent he is also representing the Cutthroat Darkness era of... <laughs> and he is a former Never Open Way Champion, making his 11th New Japan Cup appearance. He is the Tokyo Pimps, Yujiro Takahashi. So coming from me in this first round matchup... I am going to go with Headhunter Yoshihashi to get it done and defeat the Tokyo Pimps, Yujiro Takahashi, by any means. And now the final first round matchup in the 2020 New Japan Cup Tournament. On one side, he is making only his second New Japan Cup appearance. He is Toa Hanare. And his opponent is the leader of the Cutthroat Darkness era of... And he is making his New Japan Cup debut. He is the former IWGP Heavyweight Champion, the former IWGP Intercontinental Champion, and the former IWGP United States Champion. Accompanied by the booking god Gato, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. It's time for all of you to breathe in his new era. It is time to breathe with the... Switchblade J White. So coming from me in this final first round matchup in the 2021 New Japan Cup tournament to see who will advance to the second round of this of this tournament. I am gonna go with King Switch himself, Switchblade J White to get it done and defeat Toa Hanare by any means. And now on to the second round of the New Japan Cup Tournament to see who will make it to my Elite Eight. Starting off on the left side of the bracket first. He is also representing the Cutthroat Darkness era of... And he is the man that won last year's New Japan Cup Tournament and went on to become the IWGP Heavyweight and IWGP Intercontinental Champion. He is making his fifth. New Japan Cup appearance, he'll be accompanied by the spoiler Dick Togo, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is King of Darkness Evil, because this is evil. Everything is evil. It's real and is just too sweet. And his opponent will be determined on, Thurs on Thursday's anniversary show between Jeff Cobb and Satoshi Kojima. And my pick to win that matchup is Jeff Cobb. So coming from me in this second round matchup, I am going to go with King of Darkness Evil to get it done and defeat either Jeff Cobb or Satoshi Kojima by any means. And now the next second round matchup, pitting the KOPW 2021 Provisional winner Toriyanu and my pick to win that matchup between Naito and the Great Okan, Tetsuya Naito. So coming from me in this Sweet 16 matchup, I am going to go with Tetsuya Naito to get it done and defeat Yano Toru by any means. And now the next matchup, pitting Lord Taichi facing off against the Rainmaker and the former two-time New Japan Cup winner, Kazuchika Okada. So coming from me in this second round showdown, 
I am going to go with Rainmaker himself, Kazuchika Okada, to get it done and defeat Lord Tai Chi by any means. And now the final second round matchup on the left side of this bracket featuring Minoru Suzuki facing off against the flamboyant Juice Robinson. So coming from me in this final second round matchup on the left side of this New Japan Cup bracket to see who will advance to my Elite Eight, I am going to go with the Torture Master Minoru Suzuki to get it done and defeat the flamboyant Juice Robinson by any means. And now on to the right side of this New Japan Cup tournament, starting off with the first second round matchup between the reigning Rev Pro British Heavyweight Champion, my guaranteed pick to win the New Japan Cup this year, the Commonwealth Kingpin Will Ospreay, facing off against the former Rev Pro British Heavyweight Champion, Zack Sabre Jr. Now these two have not met since February 13th at Rev Pro for the Rev Pro British Heavyweight Championship, so I'm actually really excited for this matchup. So coming from me in this Sweet 16 showdown, I am going to go with the Commonwealth Kingpin, my guaranteed pick to win this New Japan Cup tournament overall, Will Ospreay to get it done, and defeat Zack Sabre Jr. in a classic. And now the next second round matchup, pitting Blue Justice Yuji Nagata facing off against Cold Skull Sonata. So coming from me in this Sweet 16 showdown, I am going to go with Cold Skull Sonata to get it done, and defeat Blue Justice Yuji Nagata by any means. And now the next second round matchup, pitting the fourth generation David Finley facing off against Yoshihashi. So coming from me in this Sweet 16 showdown, I am going to go with Headhunter Yoshihashi to get it done and defeat the fourth generation David Finley. And now the final second round matchup to see who will advance to my Elite Eight of the 2021 New Japan Cup Tournament. On one side, he is the reigning never openweight champion, the only man to hold that IWGP Heavyweight Championship eight times. He is indeed the ace of the universe, a former two-time New Japan Cup winner, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Hiroshi Tanahashi, and his opponent will be determined between Switchblade Jay White and Toa Hanara, and I picked Switchblade Jay White. So this is going to be Tanahashi versus Switchblade Jay White, and these two know each other very well. It was Switchblade Jay White that ended Hiroshi Tanahashi's 8th IWGP Heavyweight title reign at New Beginning in Osaka back in February of 2019, so this is going to be a very interesting second round matchup. So coming from me in this final Sweet 16 showdown to see who will advance to the Elite 8 of the New Japan Cup Tournament... I am going to go with my boy Switchblade Jay White to get it done and defeat the ace of the universe, Hiroshi Tanahashi, by any means. And now on to my Elite Eight predictions to see who will make it to my Final Four. Starting off on the left side of this bracket with the first Elite Eight showdown between the 2020 New Japan Cup winner, King of Darkness Evil, facing off against Tetsuya Naito. Now, these two know each other very well. We all saw what happened in, 20, uh, in 2020 with Evil and Naito. It was Evil who beat Naito to become the double champion after winning the New Japan Cup tournament. So this is a chance for Naito to knock out the reigning New Japan Cup champion. So coming from me in this first Elite Eight showdown to see who will advance to my Final Four, I am going to go with Tetsuya Naito to get it done and defeat King of Darkness Evil. And now the final Elite Eight showdown on this left side of the bracket featuring Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada facing off against the Torture Master Minoru Suzuki. Now these two have some history multiple times with the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. These two have met in the rain outdoors in the past, but this is a huge matchup to see who will make it to the Final Four. So coming from me in this final Elite Eight showdown on this left side of this bracket to see who will advance to my Final Four... I am going to go with Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada to get it done and defeat Minoru Suzuki by any means. 
And now on to the right side of this New Japan Cup bracket with the first Elite Eight showdown between my guaranteed pick to win the New Japan Cup this year, the Commonwealth Kingpin Will Ospreay, facing off against Cold Skull Sonata. So coming from me in this Elite Eight matchup to see who will advance to the Final Four, I am going to go with my guaranteed pick to win it all, Will Ospreay to get it done, and defeat Cold Skull Sonata by any means. And now the final Elite Eight showdown to see who will advance to the Final Four between Headhunter Yoshihashi representing Chaos facing off against Bullet Club's leader and my boy King Switch himself, Switchblade Jay White. So coming from me in this final Elite Eight matchup to see who will advance to my Final Four, I am going to go with King Switch, Switchblade Jay White to get it done and defeat Headhunter Yoshihashi by any means. Now on to my final four predictions to see which two men will make it to my New Japan Cup final. Starting off with the first semi-final showdown on the left side of this bracket, and it is a Wrestle Kingdom 14 rematch between Tetsuya Naito facing off against Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada. Now these two have a lot of history. We all remember what happened at Wrestle Kingdom 14 when Okada lost the IWGP Heavyweight title to Tetsuya Naito at Wrestle Kingdom 14, and Okada has never held that belt since since that day in 2019. So it's been two years since we've seen Okada with the IWGP Heavyweight title and this may be Okada's best chance to get back into the uh, get back on top of New Japan Pro Wrestling. So coming from me in this Wrestle Kingdom 14 rematch and a spot in the New Japan Cup Finals I am going to go with Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada to get his Wrestle Kingdom 14 revenge win and defeat Tetsuya Naito. And now the second semi-final showdown to see who will face Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada in my New Japan Cup Final. Between my guaranteed pick to win it all, the Commonwealth Kingpin Will Ospreay, and my boy King Switch, Switchblade Jay White. Now, this is a very funny story because I actually had Will Ospreay beating Switchblade Jay White in the, 20, in the 2020 New Japan Cup Tournament before the coronavirus happened. So it's ironic that these two made my semifinals to see who will make it to the finals. So this one's going to be a very interesting matchup. But coming from me, as much as I am a Switchblade Jay White fan, I've been breathing with the Switchblade since 2018, I'm going with the man that I guaranteed would win this tournament. I made a guarantee on January the 10th of this year that Will Ospreay would win this tournament. And I am not backing down on that guarantee. I am going with the Commonwealth Kingpin Will Ospreay to get it done and defeat King Switch, Switchblade Jay White, by any means. And now we are here. We are at the finals of the New Japan Cup Tournament. The winner gets a shot at the undisputed IWGP Championship at Sakura Genesis at Ryogoku Sumo Hall. And this finals matchup is the rematch of their classic showdown at Wrestle Kingdom 15 this year between Kazuchika Okada looking to win his third New Japan Cup Tournament facing off against the Commonwealth Kingpin Will Ospreay looking to become only the second United Kingdom superstar to win the New Japan Cup. So coming from me in the finals of the 2021 New Japan Cup Tournament to see who will face the undisputed IWGP Champion at Sakura Genesis in Ryogoku Sumo Hall on April the 4th. I am going with the man that should have won at Wrestle Kingdom 15, and that's the man that I guaranteed would win this tournament. I am going to go with the Commonwealth Kingpin, Will Ospreay, to become only the second United Kingdom wrestler to win the New Japan Cup tournament and defeat Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada by any means. And those are my New Japan Pro Wrestling's New Japan Cup 2021 predictions. Woo! Now, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below, who do you see winning the New Japan Cup Tournament this year? I have Will Ospreay winning it all over Kazuchika Okada. But let me know, who you got winning? Who do you got making it to the finals? And who is a dark horse to maybe make a deep run in this tournament? Let me know all of your predictions and your opinions. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment. Like it and, of course, reply right back to me because comments... And your opinions are absolutely always welcome on this channel. Now, I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching all of the three big videos I put up on the channel this past week. Again, thank you guys for all the support. And as always, uh, we're getting we're we're gonna get some more big videos coming up in the month of March. So stay tuned. Now, before you guys go, as always, you guys can never forget to do this. Oh that like button, comment, share with your friends. Of course, super kick. 
that like button like only you guys can. Of course, guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous. Dangerous Alliance, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers and we're getting closer and closer to that 900 subscriber mark. But YouTube tells me that nearly 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So let's change that. If you're a fan of professional wrestling, when it comes to New Japan Pro Wrestling, AEW, NXT, Ring of Honor, and the WWE. If you're a fan of professional sports, when it comes to the NFL, Major League Baseball, the National Hockey League, college football, the NFL, super kick that subscribe button. It's free and you become part of this bigger, dangerous alliance. And I will see you guys in two weeks for my official return of the, my 2021 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament Predictions. Later days, guys. Have a wonderful week. Stay safe and peace.